it's Mator. Today I'm going to be showing you how to start Test5Edit through Mod Organizer and use the Merge Plugin script with Mod Organizer. And then of course how to create a mod from the Overwrite folder and make sure archives are activated. I'm just going to show you a simple sample merge here today using Mod Organizer. Mod Organizer is great. If you don't use it, you should use it. It's the only way to manage your mods. Uh, Mod Organizer is wonderful. So here we have all these mods here. You can see I have tons. Um, I'm going to merge the JK, JK's city overhaul mods. There's already a merge for this available on the Nexus called JK Skyrim that was made with my script. So you can use that instead of merging it yourself. But I like to show this as a demo because it's really easy to show and it's just, it's great. Anywho, what you want to do before you start Test 5 Edit through Mod Organizer is make sure the mods you want to merge are contiguous in your load order. So like this. They all need to be in a row. There can't be any master dependencies in between them where the merge plugin script won't work and you'll get errors in your plugin afterwards. So that's important. Make sure you have that. Next thing you want to do, you want to make sure test5edit starts through mod organizer so it can access your mod organizer load order. The way you do that is you go, as I, as I did really quickly here, just click on this gear to modify executables and you, know, you can select one if you want. You say test5edit um, for the name and then click these dots here and it'll take you to a directory you just need to navigate to your test 5 edit directory and then you choose the executable you want to start through mod organizer and so then you click the add button and it will add it to the list if there isn't a duplicate in my case there's a duplicate so it didn't add it but it'll add it to the list and then you click close um, then you'll see it on this drop down list select it click run and it'll ask if you want to start steam you don't need it for test 5 edit but anywho, here we are. What we're going to do for merging, you want to select only the plugins you want to merge. Uh, I like to do a trick, so you right-click, select none, and then go down to the place where your plugins are. They should all be contiguous. Press space, down key, space, just because it's fast. I can select them all really easily. Then press enter to load them. Um, Test fire will load the plugins. There's this thing called the background loader. It's just setting things up, building reference tables, stuff like that. Um, it'll finish, depending on whether or not it's loading the DLC, it'll finish between 10 seconds and a minute. Um, once you see background loader finished, you can actually start to do stuff. So first thing we're going to do, um, check for errors. Always got to check for errors before merging. And then you're going to apply the script and set it up to use with Mod Organizer. So uh, check for errors. If there are no errors, you're good to go. If there are errors, Go to the check for check the fixing errors video. You absolutely need to fix those errors before you merge, otherwise your merge plugin may be totally broken. It may not even merge at all. So you gotta fix errors if any errors are found. You know that errors are found if you see here anything between these checking for errors and all done lines. If there's anything in there saying, ah, bad stuff, don't proceed, fix them. Um, anywho, we're now gonna right click and we're gonna click apply script from that menu and choose Merge Plugins version 1.9. It's important you choose this version and not just Merge Plugins because this is my version of the script. This one is an old, out of date, not really working script that's packaged with Test5Edit. Anywho, you wanna use this version. Click OK. And then it'll set some stuff up. It'll tell you, first time using the script, you need to set some options up. <clears throat> so it'll take you straight to this window here, the Advanced Options window, where you can set up the options for Mod Organizer. So what you need to do, you need to check I'm using Mod Organizer and then click Detect. Assuming you installed Mod Organizer in a directory that normal people install it in, it'll find it for you automatically. Else you can click this Browse button to find it yourself on your hard drive and click OK. Um, I like to check Copy General Assets. It's a wonderful feature. It'll make it so after the merge is completed, you just have to right click on the overwrite pseudo mod and mod organizer and click create mod and you're done. Don't have to do anything else. Wonderful. And you can only use this option with mod organizer. So another reason to use mod organizer as if there weren't enough already. The rest of these options you can safely ignore. If you were using version 1.8, this might be your default option from your old config file. I would recommend against it. Use no second pass. It's not necessary anymore. You'd be better off just not having a second pass. Faster merges possibly less issues not certain really but anywho this is your asset destination directory if your mod organizer wasn't detected automatically you need to make sure this is set to mod organizers overwrite folder if it isn't set to that then you lose a huge huge advantage f from using the overwrite folder as the destination directory um, you want that to be overwrite folder if you don't then you're crazy it makes it easy it makes it 
two clicks after you're done merging to make it into a mod or mod organizer. Anywho, batch copy assets, lovely feature. You need to use this if you're merging mods with a lot of assets, stuff like custom voiced follower mods. If you don't use this option, test five edit will run out of memory and you will die in a fire. So make sure you have that checked. Um, I'll talk more about that after the merge when it, you can see what that option does. You don't need to extract BSAs if you're using Mod Organizer. You can, but you don't need to because it's a wonderful tool and it will add your BSAs, all the BSAs, regardless if they have an ESP associated with them, to your assets path thingamajing that Skyrim does. They will be loaded automatically, even if there isn't an ESP matching them. Anywho, that's more or less all the options in this window. If you want to know more about an option, you can always move your mouse over it and it'll give you a hint which will tell you about it. Every option on this window has a hint. Even the freaking icons have hints. Uh, even these freaking buttons have hints. So if you ever don't know what something means, just move your mouse over and it will tell you what it means. So yeah, that's really nice. Now you're gonna click save. Save your options and now we're ready to start merging. So if you selected your plugins over here by selecting the top one, holding shift, clicking the bottom one, or by holding control on all of them, they'll automatically be checked here. If you didn't, then you'll have to check them one by one and it's kind of annoying because checkboxes are small. Uh, slight change since version 1.7 something. Um, if you click over here, it won't check the checkbox. Instead, it'll open up this ESP info window. This in info window will tell you how many records are in the plugin, the script version you're using, and will show you reports from previous versions of the script. It'll show you literally every single report that the dictionary has on this plugin, which you won't see if you just hover over it in the window here. This is really useful if you want to merge a plugin that has a lot of reports, something like the JK Cities mods, which have been merged billions of times. Um, so yeah, this has all these reports here. The reports are grouped based on the script version used and the number of records. And you can see the number of records differs on these and that's why they're grouped differently. And the version also differs a bit as well, 1.8, 1.75. Anywho, that's all here. Wonderful stuff, wonderful information. Um, if a plugin, uh, the plugin's color will be based on the average rating of the report submitted for it. And yeah, uh, stuff. Uh, just click OK, and we'll proceed. You don't have to worry if the plugin is gray. Um, we're going to create a new file. We're going to call it JK Cities, and there we go. It'll start merging. Um, this little nifty progress bar will show you how far it is. You can click on the Show Details button to see a, an interactive scrolling log that will show you everything that the script is doing. The script might go a little bit slower if you click on this, but I'm just going to click it because what the heck. Um, here we go, merge is going to go, it's going to do some stuff. You can see in here that it's copying uh, from your to your overwrite directory or wherever your asset destination directory is. You can also see that it's copying from your data folder. You can also see that if you have copy general assets, you can see that it's copying from the mods folder associated with the mod you're merging. Um, if you see a folder here that doesn't look right, that means that it messed up somehow. Um, Anywho, copying records here. Um, yeah, uh, I won't explain any of this in depth, uh, what's happening here. The script has been a work in progress for a while now. It's become quite powerful, and there's way more stuff in here than I could talk about in one video. Um, script should finish here in a few seconds. It's copying from the last few mods, I think. This is the last one, and it'll make formless. And then we're done. This is the batch copying window. So batch copying, what it does is it makes a bat script, which is a script that can be executed by Windows through the command prompt window. Um, and the script will automatically create this script and then run it afterwards, which will make that little black window you saw there. And that's how it copies files. Um, the reason that batch copying was created was because there was a memory issue when it wasn't there. So anyhow. The merging's more or less done here. We have all these plugins, they've turned bold. Doesn't matter if they didn't turn bold, bold just means a change was made. It doesn't, it's not, not actually that relevant. Um, but you will be prompted to save these and you don't want to. We can check for errors in the merge plugin, make sure there's no errors. There usually isn't. If there's gonna be errors, it'll probably be when you reload it after saving it. Anywho, here we are. Select none, right click select none, check the merge plugin, click OK. That will save only the merge plugin. If you save the other stuff, your other plugins will be changed and that's a terrible idea, don't do it. Um, 
Anywho, our merge plugin is now created. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom, it might not be the bottom for you, but it's the bottom for me, you'll find this overwrite pseudo mod. So cool. Right click it, click create mod, say JK's Cities Merge, whatever. I don't know. You can call it whatever the hell you want. Then you'll have this new mod here. Now we can look at this mod and we can see, right click, open, and explore. We can see everything in it. We can see that it has this textures folder and we have weapons, plants, actor, textures, stuff, things, and meshes as well. So what, if you used copy general assets, then this should have the assets from all the mods you merged should be here, um, including the BSA files. Uh, if there were BSA files, then after you activate this mod, you should go to the Archives tab and make sure those BSAs are activated. In this case, there aren't any BSAs, but um, if you have if you have checked Have MO Manage Archives, they should be automatically checked. Um, it just means that they'll be used, and which is what you want. Anywho, we have this now. You can see the ESP appeared in our load order, and that's it. You're pretty much done at this point. You can now start your game with the merge plugin. Although, you know, you probably want to uninstall the mods you merged. Um, so I'm just going to do that real quick for demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to uncheck these blah, 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 blah. And here we go. Our one merged plugin, we removed, how many is that? I think 13 or 14 plugins, and we made it one. So it's a saving of about 13 plugins. Great. Um, you might think, oh, I should just merge my entire load order into one plugin. Don't do it. If something messes up in even one of those plugins while merging, your life we will have wasted a lot of time. Anyways. Um, yeah, we should test this merge plugin in Test5Edit. You don't have to do this step, but you can. Um, run Test5Edit again, load just the merge plugin, and then right-click it and check for errors to make sure that it's clean and there's nothing wrong. There should be nothing wrong at this step. If there is, it probably means that the plugins weren't contiguous in your load order and there were masters in between them, or it might mean something else. Who knows? Anywho, right-click, check for errors. I don't. Uh, did it work? Yeah, it's working. It's doing stuff. Done. No errors. Perfect. We're good to go. Um, you can also generate reports from there. There's another video on that. But uh, that's all you need for mod organizer merging plugins. You can now run your game and see if stuff works. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope this helps. And good luck merging plugins.